In the world of science and computers, all eyes are on RPI in Troy tonight. As John Gray shows us, they're making a quantum leap into quantum computers. In the world of computers, this is the holy grail, the IBM Quantum System 1. And RPI is the first university in the whole world to have one. What it means for RPI is that our researchers, with the benefit of this tool, are going to be able to get out in front and figure out what problems are most relevant. Our students are going to get trained to use and know how to operate a quantum computer so that when they graduate, they can enter these new industries that are going to emerge. So what makes a quantum computer so different than the others? And this technology holds the promise of solving some of the most pressing problems that we have in the world of discovery scientific discovery of novel materials, for example, of novel battery technologies for the future or better fertilizers for agriculture, etc. Its greatest hope could be in medicine, helping doctors fight diseases like cancer. It actually, instead of computer on the possibility, it actually reduces problems. Uh, so like in biomedical, it would ultimately figure out what the next drug is, given a certain, you know, disease. For RPI students in the Quantum Club, it's like being a kid in a candy store. They can do things that classical computers just can't, right? And so that ability is just what excites me, that we're going to move on to a new era of computing. Now, the quantum computer system will be fully operational in January. Now, John also tells us that the most exciting part of all of this is that the technology is so advanced, they truly don't know what it's capable of or the breakthroughs it could bring.